Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is the September 2018 update for Adobe XD. We have four quick things to take a look at this month, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first feature we have is probably one of the best ones for me because I can't spell. We have spell check. So you go up to edit and then you can turn this on with the check mark. I have this enabled and it will spell check and show you grammatical errors like you would expect most things do. So if we just click on our text to go into edit it, you'll see that I've misspelled design and then I can select the word itself, right click and it gives me some options and I can choose design and then that underline goes away. So pretty simple thing, but it is really cool to actually have that in the design tool itself. The second feature we have is really impressive. It's the responsive resize. And when we're working with a tablet or a phone view and we want to scale that up for desktop or we want to scale this design in particular up to an iPad size, now we can do that with ease. So I'm just going to duplicate this artboard, the finished design. And just to get the sizing of where I want to scale this, I'm going to hit A on the keyboard and I'm going to grab the regular iPad just so I can see what size this is. So this is the size we're aiming for, 768 by 1024. So I'll just drag this to the side for now. And I'm going to select the artboard itself and just make sure you have this toggle on. So default is like this and we can turn responsive resize on. So with that on, I can now drag the corner of this and you'll see it starts to scale. So there's the total height of the iPad. Now how wide do we need this to be? 768. So we'll just input that one manually. And you'll see now that we have this scaled for the iPad. Now from here, we could begin to make some further adjustments if needed, but I don't think I need to tell you how awesome this one is. I think you can see that for yourself. That is really cool that we can do this now. Another thing you can do with this is you can decide what your elements do when you scale it up or down. So if you just select a grouping like this, you can see now we have this responsive resize and below that we have auto or manual. So will this adjust automatically or can we set a manual constraint? So if we want to set manual, you can choose how you want this to work. So we can fix the height, the width, or we can choose the directions. So if I were to choose the top value and the side value to be fixed, when we actually scale this, it's gonna take the value of the top and you'll notice that now when we scale down, instead of adjusting like the rest of the elements for adding extra space here, it's staying exactly where it is. So it's fixed to that top space number. For the third feature, we have better full screen prototypes. So here I have my website and I went ahead and went up here to the corner and published this. So I'm gonna head over to that link real quick. So here's the standard view that we're used to and we have our comments over here on the side if you enable those. And now we have this button where we can click on it and bring this up to a more full screen. So this only goes the width and the height of your design, but it will actually fill out the browser if the design is that size. So it's just a better performance here when you're previewing it to get more of an effect of a real website. So the fourth and final feature we have this month is timed transitions. So that will be in the prototype tab. And this is gonna be probably one of my favorite things they've added in the recent updates. So with this, we just select an artboard and then we can drag this wire over to here. And now instead of having just a default tap trigger, we now have the timed option. So I've set this to four seconds. Then after that, I want this to happen. So this transition, what I want this to do is dissolve and I want it to ease out over 0.4 seconds. So after four seconds, this transition will then happen. And we're just going to do the same back to this so that we have this looped. So if I select the live preview, now we have the security and protection screen. And after four seconds, it will then dissolve away into the unlimited storage screen. And then it will go back and forth infinitely. So that is all four features for this month. Two of them were huge, the responsive resize and the time transitions. More tutorials definitely coming out on those. But also we had spell check and full screen prototypes, which were great additions to this month's update. So that is all I have for you guys. That is the September 2018 update for Adobe XD. We had a lot of great features this month, two in particular that I was really excited about, and I'm gonna be looking forward to making tutorials on those in detail later on here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you have that notification bell on so you don't miss those when they're released. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.